Hey everyone, good morning. Happy Wellness Wednesday. I got a whole bunch to do to get my morning started. So I thought I would jump on here <laughs> and do it with you guys, as well as talk about um, six ways to improve gut health. So first I need to get my face together. And so I am gonna do my weekly mask session. I do like two mask sessions, usually one on a Monday, just to remind me, I usually do like mask Monday, but I didn't this week, so I'm doing it today. So I usually um, do like a clay mask once a week and then um, more of an enzyme peel mask as well. So I'll be multi-masking. I'm gonna put on my gel eye mask one because I need them <laughs> um, so they add moisture through the serum that's on there um, they're really cooling so it gets rid of the puffiness like instantly sort of like wearing cucumbers on your eyes um, but I always like to put them on when I'm going to actually put on a facial mask because that area around your eye is the thinnest and most sensitive area and so when you can protect it with a gel eye mask and then put on your facial mask or even your other skincare products, it helps to protect that area. So um, that's that. So I am wearing today a new mask, um, limited edition. I've already tried it last week and I love it. So it's two in one. It's actually a mask and a cleanser. So it's gonna work as well as my cleansing step in my morning routine. And then the mystery part is, it starts out, it's a blue French clay, I'll show it to you. It's a blue French clay, but once you um, activate it and rub it, there are pigments in there that will change it to a different color. And the mystery is, when you order it, you don't know which color it's gonna be. So it can be, gold or it can be rose um you just won't know which one it will be until you rub it on so um i'm gonna put my mask on and while my mask is sitting i'm gonna make my green goodness i know you guys have seen me talk about it like a bajillion times but that's because i have it every single day um for the past year and i've seen and felt just such a difference in my overall well-being and by well-being I'm not just saying like health I mean wellness so my mental clarity my mood a lot of us don't realize that our mood is um, directly linked to the condition of our gut and so if that microflora is off if that environment is completely off then um, your mood, your concentration, your cognitive abilities, they all are affected. So you can see my mask is starting to change a bit. So this is the gold one. And so it's sort of blue, sort of yellow. Um, I'll show you how it really activates. So I don't want to activate it completely yet because that will happen when I wash it off but you see what happens when I rub it those pigments are released and it changes to yellow so I'm not gonna rub it all in just yet because it is a cleanser and I will be cleansing it off so while my mask is sitting y'all I'm the queen of like multitasking that's why I have to get things done I'm gonna make my green goodness and so I usually do about 16 ounces of water um, some of my clients like to do it more like a shot um, and four ounces of water some people like the flavor of their energy fist sticks a bit more concentrated so they um, put it in like eight ounces of water oh really you got the gold as well I have both um, and I've used both but I didn't mark them so I don't know which is which so it's always a mystery to me so the first thing I'm gonna add is um, my digestion plus this is probiotics which is food 
I'm sorry, this is probiotics and then prebiotics. The prebiotics is food for the probiotics. It basically helps them to multiply. It also like scrubs your esophageal lining all the way through your GI tract to prepare for the probiotics. And then there's 11 digestive enzymes in there. So that's step number one in how you can improve your gut health is by crowding out bad bacteria, fungus, viruses um, in our GI tract by crowding them out with the good bacteria. So our body already has good bacteria, but um, they die off. <laughs> they get outnumbered sometimes. And when they get outnumbered, then we see um, sickness and illness start to take place, right? So we want to crowd out um, bad bacteria and pathogens with the good bacteria. And probiotics are responsible for so much. They basically build our immune system. So it's like a triple defense system of they're in your GI tract, they're on the wall lining of the intestines, right? So they're there to keep things from passing through the intestinal walls and getting into our bodies. And those things are pathogens, viruses, etc. cetera. Um, and then they're on the outside, like right on the outside of the intestinal wall. In case something gets through, they're there to um, fight them off and protect us. So probiotics is our first line of defense in our immune system. So I highly recommend that everyone take a good quality probiotic each and every day. So that's one way that you can improve gut health and that will also reduce your bloating. Um, the second way to improve gut health is to get um, toxins out of the body. Um, and fiber is really key at doing that. So fiber basically binds itself to the toxins in the GI tract and pulls it out of the body. So I'm adding a scoop of my daily fiber boost, 12 grams of soluble fiber. Um, and so this is basically going to do more scrubbing in my GI tract, clean that out as well as take out the, the toxins that my body is ready to eliminate, it's gonna help to take them out of the colon, sort of like a magnet. Um, what else helps to get that cleansing and scrubbing going is superfoods like chlorella, um, spirulina, um, and again, once we can fortify our um, GI tract, then we see better overall health. So superfoods help us to do that. This is a superfoods blend from like barley grass, spinach, artichoke. Um, it has super yellows like pumpkin, carrot, sweet potato, super reds like acerola berry, red beet, pomegranate. Um, and then it also has super blues in there like black currant, el elderberry fruit, blackberry fruit, and purple sweet potatoes. So that's a really great superfoods blend. So I like to add those. Um, and then, can't forget my skin elixir. This is why I have nails, y'all. I kid you not. The biotin, hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, um, C buckthorn, um, and a couple other ingredients in there. Just have my nails and skin and my hair popping. So I add those first to make sure that they completely dissolve. And I'm gonna shake them up. Hey everyone, good morning. So once that has dissolved, um, and that soluble, you could, um, that fiber is soluble, so it's not like jelly-like, it's not clumpy or funky, it just actually dissolves in water. Okay, so we talked about two ways that you can improve gut health having um, improving and um, increasing good bacteria, making sure that you are eating like um, superfoods and um, fibrous foods, basically plant-based fruits and vegetables so that the toxins in your body can get flushed out. Also, that also um, helps with those um, bad bacteria and they also help with digestive discomfort. So also in this, 
Digestion Plus, which is the name. So it's Digestion Plus because those prebiotics and probiotics are there as well as 11 digestive enzymes. And so digestive issues is what cause like most of the bloating in our gut, right? So if we can minimize the digestive issues and digestive um, discomfort, then we see bloated in our gut decrease and we see our gut health improve because when our body's trying to um, break down and metabolize things that don't work well with our body um, it affects our health if our immune system is in our gi tract then when we're eating foods that um, don't work well with our gi tract that actually breaks down the lining of our gut then we're also breaking down our immune system so we're going to talk about those Next, um, the third way, I'm gonna add that to here. The third way is green tea. You guys know I'm a tea lover, but besides hot green tea, um, green tea extracts, um, which is in my energy fist stick. So this is B12, uh, ginseng, green tea extract, some guarana. And so not only is it gonna give me a steady stream of energy, but I have those B vitamins in there. I have chromium in there that naturally manages your blood sugar. And then I have um, the green tea extracts. Now green tea helps our body with so many things, especially antioxidants. So if we wanna improve gut health, we want more um, antioxidants. You actually had a fizz this morning, Alexis, yay. Um, or green tea you had this morning. Um, so if, we want to fortify our GI tract, improve our immune system, then we wanna get those antioxidants in the body. And you see now my green goodness is nice and um, frothy. And this is why I add everything before, shake it up and make sure everything is dissolved before I add the energy fist stick. Otherwise, it'll be like popping a champagne bottle. You'll have a whole fireworks going on. Okay, so we said number one in improving gut health, um, probiotics right increasing the good bacteria um, number two we said having a lot of fibrous fruits veggies um, fiber is key with helping with cleansing and eliminating as well as superfoods number um, three we said green tea I'm gonna have my hot tea but right now I have some green tea extracts in here that helps with antioxidants and then hot tea of course helps to soothe and calm the digestive tract and again that's where our immune system is we want that environment to be just copacetic right we want everything in there to be just basically cool and kosher and copacetic and we want to focus on what we're doing to our gut which is why i have my green goodness each and every morning I'm go ahead take a sip Okay, a long sip. Okay, so that's three ways, the first three ways that we can start to improve gut health. The other three ways, because the first three ways are things that we need to start incorporating and being intentional about consuming daily, right? The other three, we need to be intentional about eliminating or reducing um, as much as possible. And the first one is dairy, which just wreaks havoc on our GI tract. So, and dairy causes digestive discomfort, whether you acknowledge it or not, ask your gut about it, right? And so we don't want any bad disruptions to that GI tract. Um, and so if there's disruptions there, then our body has to focus on that instead of focus on um, keeping our immune system strong and it breaks it down um, dairy also produces a lot of mucus which is not good for our bodies and our overall well-being so dairy is a big trigger of like sirens so to say um, and alarms in our GI tract the next one is gluten and whether you have a gluten allergy or you have a gluten sensitivity we all do and I'll actually tell you what gluten and dairy does, which is a huge problem. And so you may not notice the bloating, you may not notice the gurgling or irritation if you have dairy 
or um, gluten. But what you may notice is that you're like now a natural insomniac, right? You wake up tired, but you can't go to bed at a decent time at night, right? So you're up all night and then you still wake up at a certain time and you wake up exhausted, but you're not exhausted enough to go to sleep when nighttime comes, right? You have like this wicked, vicious cycle. Or um, maybe you feel a lot of like blah. And you know, I'm not talking about something like depression or bipolar disorder or anything that you would need to, you know, see a professional about. Just sort of like, blah right you kind of lack that motivation not that you necessarily want to lock yourself in the room away from everyone but you just find it difficult to focus and concentrate and get tasks done or just have the endurance to get through tasks and i'm not talking about laborious tasks i'm talking about um finishing a document i'm talking about going through and even deleting pictures you know just like the the smallest things um you just find yourself um, basically walking around in a mental cloud. Maybe um, your emotions are all off. And all of those things, you're like, what in the world does that have to do with dairy and gluten? Everything in the world. Because they tear down the communication system. I'm old. Yeah, yeah I know I'm like real grown. Like I'll be 44 <laughs> in December. And so back in the day, I grew up on like a fiber optics like network system, right? Um, and that's what I think of our GI tract. Like um, there is a fiber optics network system that is the communication pathway between your gut and your brain. And so if your immune system is in your gut, right, it needs to be able to like communicate clearly with your brain. What we also don't realize is many of our hormones are produced in the gut. So things like melatonin, um, serotonin, ooh, cortisol, um, adrenaline, they're produced in the gut and your gut makes it and that's their job. That's the job. It produces the hormone and then your gut has to ring upstairs in the head office and be like, hey, down here in the factory, we made this hormone. Can you release it? Can you release that melatonin so Petra can go to sleep because she's tired? And if that network, that fiber optic system, that communication pathway, if that has holes in it, if that has damage, the communication is never clear. And so it's not that your body is not doing certain, you know, it's not that, okay, your hormone production is slowed down or it's not there. It's there is the communication for the brain to go ahead and sign off to say, all right, release it, right? Someone has to sign off and say, release it. It was made, release it. And your brain has to do that, but it has to hear from your gut that it was made first. And so especially gluten, gluten literally, eats away at that lining and produces weak spots or even holes. And when it produces holes, that's what we call leaky gut syndrome because literally like stuff is seeping out of your GI tract into your body, like making you toxic, septic, um, and then your overall wellness is down because that communication is off and so many things are happening. That's crazy, right? So think about the things that you're eating every day. My goodness, think about like a standard American breakfast. Um, and then, you know, then there are acidic things like coffees and sodas that also um, eat away at that lining with their acidity level. So that's four and five, right? That's four and five. So the first three ways are things that we need to intentionally incorporate the latter three ways are things that we need to intentionally remove, eliminate, minimize. And so we said dairy, we said gluten, and then there's that bad boy sugar. Take a moment of silence on that sugar. Right? Um, the big problem is the refinement of the sugar. Um, that sugar is just in everything. Anything processed is going to have a bunch of sugar in it or sodium just so it can be addictive so you could keep buying it and keep making corporations money but it's not good so um you know 
if you just start reading labels and packaging, you just realize how much, if you buy it outside your house, just how much sugar and forms of sugar so that's the other thing they'll they'll hide it in different forms of sugar so you don't look at it and just be like oh sugar but if you look at the macronutrients you see how many grams of sugar there is um and so versus you know a slice of pound cake that you would buy somewhere or a pound cake that you would buy in a store if you made that pound cake at home and the entire pound cake has you know, a half a cup of a sugar that you can choose the quality of that sugar to have that raw sugar that hasn't been bleached, that hasn't been refined, right? That is at its most organic state, meaning made in nature, then your body knows how to process that and can process that differently than overly processed, refined sugars and a bus load of it. So, you know, for me, it's like, I have a sweet tooth, but I'll just start learning to bake and I'll bake more of my things myself. And um, anything that's supposed to be a bread or a loaf, I make it into muffins so that I can freeze them so I don't have a whole bunch at one time. But sugar is a beast. The other thing is sugar is food for the stuff we don't want in our GI tract. Remember we talked about our microflora is built up of good bacteria, yay! But it's also built up of bad bacteria. It's also built up of fungi. It also has viruses. And so those bad bacteria, those fungi, those viruses, they feed off of what? Sugar. So if you have an excess amount of sugar, it's an all out day party in there for the wrong things, right? Um, what the good bacteria need is not sugar good bacteria needs fiber and that's exactly what prebiotics is prebiotics is a form of fiber and it's food for the probiotics so that's why this supplement is so bomb because it gives the food for the probiotics so that they actually multiply and you maximize the amount um, that ends up in your GI tract. And so those are six ways that we can improve gut health. We wanna incorporate more good bacteria. Um, we wanna focus on fibrous foods, superfoods that help with natural um, removal of toxins from the body and help with um, ease and digestive discomfort, as well as having green teas that also do that, but packs in those antioxidants. And then we wanna eliminate um, the dangerous three amigos, um, or reduce it as much as possible, dairy, gluten, and sugar. So with that said, I think it's probably been 10, 15 minutes, I could take this mask off. Um, but it is a cleanser, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just activate it back to be in a cleanser. So it doesn't dry like hard. It stays pretty, pretty, soft and then now you see the pigments are being released and so I know somebody said they have the yellow one too doesn't matter if you have the rose in this mask it's just pigment it's just the um the color they both have the exact same ingredients exact same properties and so they work in the same way so some key ingredients in here dragon fruit I just want to eat this mask is what I want to do. It has dragon fruit, it has passion fruit, and um, I'm trying to see the spelling in my head because it is a funny pronunciation. I think it's kukudo. I think it's um, kukudo plum, something like that. Don't quote me on it, but it's something with a K, K-U-K-U. I think it's Google Dope. Um, it's a plum that's actually found in Australia and is packed with vitamin C. And y'all know I love any skincare with vitamin C that naturally lightens, brightens, and tightens the skin. Um, so I'm going to remove this. I use white face uh, cloths to make sure that I don't get any dyes on my skin. But then they end up looking like this because I use them to remove my mask. So um, my other clay mask has left pink clay and now this one is probably gonna leave uh, yellow pigmented blue clay. Look at that hydration under my eyes, yes! Okay. 
And so you can see where the mask was active. So um, my skin is flushed right there because there was some activity going on. And this is exactly why we don't wanna get things on that really delicate skin of the eye area. So again, I love putting on my gel eye patches to protect that area. Um, you know, sometimes I see people put on masks and it's only about this much of their eyes that don't have the product. And I'm like, no, you don't want to get um, those products onto that really, really delicate, gentle eye area. So I go from mask to cleanser. So this is a great la lazy morning mask because you don't have to cleanse your face first. It is the cleanser, so you just slap it on, do some things, get your breakfast ready, and then when you jump in the shower, it's also your cleanser, and you can just cleanse one time and wash it off. Hey, y'all, drop any questions that you have in the comments. Like I said, this mask is brand new, but limited quantity. Um... If I know anything, if you follow me on Facebook, you know once I do a video, like it starts selling out in <laughs> a week or two. So you definitely wanna hop on and get it. I do love it. Um, I have used it, this is my third time in a week. I, I got it last week and I used it twice last week in, um, cause I do a mask twice a week. I ended up using it twice last week cause I was really digging it. All right, toner, that's it. Child, I keep trying to tell people about the skin elixir. They think I'm just selling it. They don't even know. Sharonda, you know, you've known me for years and asked me when I've had it. And I actually cut them. Ah! I had to cut them down because, but I'm leaving my pinky just to show how long my nails have grown. But I had to cut them down because I started getting back into cardio kickboxing and I'm like, I can't make a good fist. I was like, what is going on? But that skin elixir is the truth toner. That's that. Um, I use during the daytime, I use the Biohydra Serum. If you guys don't know about this Biohydra line, hit me up. I will send you a link of a video from our event on Sunday about this incredible line. If you have oily combination skin like moi, but you can't even tell, right? That's because after 43 years, I finally gotten my shine control under control um, because I have oily skin that's dehydrated, two different things. And so now that I add the moisture to my skin with this biohydria, I don't have the shine. Um, so I'm not all greasy. So with that, I also incorporate the, and I know I love my RA9, so I'm still gonna use my RA9. Um, if I wasn't doing this mask, I'd have used my RA9 cleanser. So I incorporate the Biohydra Serum and the gel cream. Who needs a new one? Me. See that gel cream? So... I use a little bit of the gel cream and then I still use my RA9 day cream for the corrective properties. So this gives me, I like getting it right where my skin needs plumping. Um, this gives me hydration. And then my RA9 gives me correction because there are some things that need to be corrected and then it also has the SPF so you see that tint um, there that's that titanium dioxide that's the mineral based SPF not chemical and so um, I'm here in Miami it's a bit cloudy today but this Sun stays vicious this Sun be trying to kill you so a sister make sure she has her SPF protection each and every day. All right, so drop any questions that you have in the comments. If you are interested in um, any of the products that I mentioned, whether in my green goodness or skincare, or just really want to have a quick 15 minute chat, you can meet me at Starbucks, AKA via Zoom. I just throw in my Starbucks background and you can too, my friends do that, it's so cool. Um, you can uh, 
have a 15 minute chat with me. Let's hear what's going on as far as your nutrition or as far as your skincare um, and what are your needs that you have. And um, then I'll share with you how I can be of service and what is available to you, send you some resources so that you can be informed and educated and decide accordingly. Um, if you're interested in those six ways to improve gut health, I can send you that document. So go ahead and um, drop six ways in the comment and I'll get that document to you. If you want to schedule your 15 minute coffee appointment, drop 15 minutes in the comment and we can go ahead and schedule that and get you guys started. And I've had a slow start to my morning, but she is ready and she is me. Look at the skin. <laughs> and now you can tell my greens and I've kicked in because now I have more energy. So guys, thanks for tuning in again. Um, drop six ways if you want that document on the six ways to improve gut health and help to flatten your tummy um and then if you need to have a quick chat with me um quick video chat then go ahead and drop 15 minutes in the comment and we'll schedule your 15 minute um chat thanks for tuning in talk to you soon thank you thank you girl that's all this this easy hard work that I put in, right? This, just using some great plant-based skincare intentionally each and every day. So thanks guys, talk to you soon, bye.